This is one of the best impromptu magic tricks you can learn and perform. And be sure to stay to the end to learn a stunning variation. Here's a great trick that you can perform. I learned it actually with some toothpicks and that's the traditional way to perform the trick. And it's great because you can just take toothpicks, any two toothpicks and still perform this trick. The toothpicks makes it a very impromptu trick you can do anytime. So you might be dining out and there's some toothpicks there. You can do this trick. Take your two straws and it's important with the hand that you're gonna perform the move with which is probably your dominant hand. I'm using my right hand, I'm right-handed, so with this first finger, I have the straw slightly offset on the side because the secret is you're going to take this finger and hold it here. So you're actually clipping the straw and that's what causes that little bit of separation there that allows you to clear the second straw. So again, on the side of the finger here, now, I like to display and then as I make this turn I keep the left hand just where it is but as I make the turn I have this big motion where I can actually clip the straw in my fingers here and I'm going to give you the exposed view and then I separate my thumb so all of this occurred as I made the turn now at this point the thumb is already separated from the straw but spectators don't know that and then you can push it through and pull it back. The angle here is very important. Ideally, you want the spectator to see a little bit of the straw so it looks as if it's still connected to the thumb. And then of course you can pass it through, pass back. So exposed view like this. Now, you could perform it this way where the spectators can't see the straw, but as you can see, it's not as impressive as when they get a glimpse of the straw here and see it apparently pass right through and pass back and then as you come back openly display the straws and drop them in your hands and everything is clean one other tip is when performing this trick you could take your I think most people tend to take their thumbs release come in and then put their thumb back but you can see that little motion gives something away. Ideally, you're already in this position with the thumb out. And then when you pass through, you don't want that thumb to move. See, it just looks cleaner when that straw just passes right through. This one's pretty hard, but what you're going to do here is you're going to actually pass not through the straw here, but you pass through your finger here so you can actually add a second phase now I have to warn you that second phase is a lot harder because it's one thing to get the clearance to pass through the straw here but to pass through your finger here or uh, and you could do this with your thumb I suppose but I don't think I would attempt it in a live performance because that is really risky to have to make that clearance so anyway with enough practice you can probably do it I'm actually not that comfortable with the move because there's just so many angles to have to do with these straws. But anyway, that's a uh, extra bonus move that makes for a great routine. In, uh, in other words, you pass through the straw and then pass through your finger. So you have two phases. Anyway, hope you have fun with this trick. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.